This is a simulation interview. You are going to hear some questions, and then you're going to stop the video and answer the question. You will be asked a series of questions related to your role in aviation, and then to a specific aviation-related topic. There are no right or wrong answers. Show you understand the questions by responding to them directly and fully. The examiner will ask you further questions to encourage you to talk more about some of the things you mention in your responses. Let's start. What's the difference between a good briefing and a bad briefing? The difference is that in a good briefing, we talk about the procedures, CRM, flight time, and weather conditions at the destination and en route. We also talk about the documents, emergency procedures, and passenger numbers. In a bad briefing, we might miss important parts, or it could be rushed without going into enough detail. Tell me about CRM. Well, in my opinion, CRM is very important. I think we have to follow the procedures, help each other during the flight, for example, teamwork, building relationships, in-flight procedures like disembarking, embarking, emergency evacuation, emergency procedures and communication with the crew members, like the co-pilot, the captain and the flight attendants. And that's it. And what can cause a problem with a controller? It can be due to bad equipment, problems with English, no radar screens, frequency problems, bad instruments, small airports, no runway or taxiway. Tell me about your routine in order to make the flight safe for the passengers. It is very important to keep the flight safe. We have to do a briefing with the crew members about the procedures, the passenger numbers, oxygen masks, flight safety. We must perform the walk around and prepare the cockpit. We check the equipment, instruments and the amount of fuel we are carrying. The weather must be checked so we can avoid CBs or other bad weather. What are the responsibilities of the flight attendants? They are responsible for emergency evacuations, calming the passengers if necessary, first aid, communication with the flight crew, making speeches and serving meals, drinks and duty-free. What's the difference between national and international flights? During national flights, we fly inside Brazil, for example, Rio, Brasilia, Sao Paulo. On international flights, we fly abroad to places like Madrid, London and New York. International flights are longer than national flights, sometimes 13 or 14 hours. I prefer national flights. I like short flights. I get to spend more time at home and we take off and land more often, sometimes three or four times per day. What do you think about specific regulations for drone flights? Drones are becoming ever more popular for both leisure activity and commercial and industrial purposes. As a recent innovation, regulations have been slow to develop. Uncontrolled drones flown by irresponsible and untrained operators have become an increasing menace to aviation especially when flown in airways and around airports. In many cases, the operators do not appreciate the danger of a drone striking an aircraft. Legislation needs to be brought in and approved internationally relating to training and control of drone flying. It's important that restricted flying areas are introduced with penalties for infringement. This is the end of the first part of the TEA exam.